the Earth is flat! NASA and modern astronomy maintain that the moon is a solid, spherical, Earth-like habitation which man has actually flown to and set foot on. They claim the moon is a non-luminescent planetoid which receives and reflects all its light from the sun. The reality is, however, that the moon is observably not a solid body. It is clearly circular, but not spherical, and not in any way an Earth-like planetoid which humans could set foot on. In fact, the moon has been proven largely transparent and completely self-luminescent, shining with its own unique light. The sun's light is golden, warm, drying, preservative, and antiseptic, while the moon's light is silver, cool, damp, putrefying, and septic. The sun's rays decrease the combustion of a bonfire, while the moon's rays increase combustion. Plant and animal substances exposed to sunlight quickly dry, shrink, coagulate, and lose the tendency to decompose and putrefy. Grapes and other fruits become solid, partially candied and preserved, like raisins, dates, and prunes. Animal flesh coagulates, loses its volatile, gaseous constituents, becomes firm, dry, and slow to decay. When exposed to moonlight, however, plant and animal substances tend to show symptoms of putrefaction and decay. This proves that sun and moonlight are different, unique, and opposites as they are in the geocentric flat model. In direct sunlight, a thermometer will read higher than another thermometer placed in the shade. But in full direct moonlight, a thermometer will read lower than another placed in the shade. If the sun's light is collected in a large lens and thrown to a focus point, it can create significant heat, while the moon's light collected similarly creates no heat. In the Lancet Medical Journal from March 14, 1856, particulars are given of several experiments which prove the moon's rays, when concentrated, can actually reduce the temperature upon a thermometer more than 8 degrees, so sunlight and moonlight clearly have altogether different properties. Furthermore, the moon itself cannot physically be both a spherical body and a reflector of the sun's light. Reflectors must be flat or concave for light rays to have any angle of incidence. If a reflector's surface is convex, then every ray of light points in a direct line with the radius perpendicular to the surface, resulting in no reflection. Hi, Blue Fox here. On September 27, 2015, I took pictures of the eclipse of the moon. I set up my 5-inch telescope using a 17mm eyepiece and took these snapshots. You will notice in the pictures, stars show through the dark par portions of the moon. And as I go through them. I'll blow them up a little larger so you can see these stars. I'll point to one. There's a blue star here. A white star. There's another star right here. That shows up quite good. And uh, that's that picture. Move on to the next one. You can actually see the stars here. Now we'll zoom in and we'll see a red star with a white star right in here. And then there's three stars, a white star, a blue star, and another blue star. And there's a white star pretty much over here. Okay. Now, this one here, you can see the stars. One, two. That's pretty bright. Now, zoom in on it. Now, there's a red star, white star, showing through the uh, moon. White star, and then a blue star again, with another star over here. And if we go further 
down we see another blue star and a white star there's more stars that I'm picking up on this film they do have two stars out here and on the edge but this is basically uh, closer to the left side of the moon moving on you can see two stars here it's another star here two stars down the bottom and another star here so we'll zoom that up for you so one on the bottom some stars shining through and there's another two stars faint one in the background and uh, we have this star blue star and this white star also we have one star shining through here and uh, we look at this we see the stars shining through again so what my point is that is the moon transparent I've heard people talk about that and as I see these pictures I see that there's stars shining through like they had predicted not only is the moon clearly self-luminescent shining its own unique light but it is also largely transparent when the waxing or waning moon is visible during the day it is possible to see the blue sky right through the moon and on a clear night during a waxing or waning cycle it is even possible to occasionally see stars and planets directly through the surface of the moon the royal astronomical society has on record many such occurrences throughout history which all defy the heliocentric model many people think that modern astronomy's ability to accurately predict lunar and solar eclipses is a result and proof positive of the heliocentric theory of the universe the fact of the matter however is that eclipses have been accurately predicted by cultures worldwide for thousands of years before the heliocentric ball earth was even a glimmer in copernicus's imagination ptolemy in the first century a.d accurately predicted eclipses for 600 years on the basis of a flat stationary earth with equal position as anyone living today all the way back in 600 bc thales accurately predicted an eclipse which ended the war between the medes and the lydians Eclipses happen regularly with precision in 18-year cycles, so regardless of geocentric or heliocentric flat or globe-earth cosmologies, eclipses can be accurately calculated independent of such factors. Another assumption and supposed proof of the Earth's shape, heliocentrists claim that lunar eclipses are caused by the shadow of the ball Earth occulting the Moon. They claim the Sun, Earth, and Moon spheres perfectly align like three billiard balls in a row so that the Sun's light casts the Earth's shadow onto the Moon. Unfortunately for heliocentrists, this explanation is rendered completely invalid due to the fact that lunar eclipses have happened and continue to happen regularly when both the Sun and Moon are still visible together above the horizon. For the Sun's light to be casting Earth's shadow onto the Moon, the three bodies must be aligned in a straight 180 degree syzygy, but as early as the time of Pliny, there are records of lunar eclipses happening while both the Sun and Moon are visible in the sky. Therefore, the eclipser of the Moon cannot be the Earth or Earth's shadow, and some other explanation must be sought. Guys, about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Well, a funny thing happened on the way to the moon. That's the title of a video that I watched on YouTube. You can see astronauts hanging from wires, proving that astronauts are NASA are liars. They analyze photos and highlight mistakes with the moon landing missions. They show it was faked. You can see them faking the photos of Earth. They use a round window to fake the curve. Hmm. That's suspicious, don't you think? 
Yeah, listen up. I watched another documentary called Astronauts Gone Wild. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin gets a little riled. All he was asked to do was to swear to God that he went to the moon, but he would not. He was faced with a moon landing denier. Had a chance to show that he ain't no liar. But Buzz decided it's a punch, that dude. Just for asking him to swear if he went to the moon. That's suspicious. So, do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too, cause I know that we didn't go to the moon. What if you swore in the Bible that you walked on the moon? You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. And how about those moon rocks they gave to museums? And thousands and thousands of people did see them. But one museum took a closer look. They soon realized that something's afoot. The rock they were given turned out to be a fake. Just a piece of old wood, not a rock from space. Yeah, when God made the moon, he saw it was good. But apparently made it from petrified wood. Hmm. Yeah, that's suspicious. Listen up. In another museum sits an astronaut suit. Take a good look at the tread on the boot. It doesn't match up with the prints on the moon. And y'all still believe what they're telling you? Or how about that phone call that Nixon made to the moon that's a quarter million miles away? When I can't get a signal on my cell phone line, I guess phones were better in 69. Hmm. Well, do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too, because I know that we didn't go to the moon. And it certainly has to be the most dismissed telephone call. Never paid for the yeah, you went straight through those Van Allen belts. It wasn't a problem, right? Nothing was felt. But now you say it's a problem and you can't get through? This problem needs to be solved, according to you. But didn't you solve that problem back in 69 and you flew straight through them five more times? Uh, you wonder why I think it's fake when there are so many Apollo mistakes like the telemetry data that's all gone missing 13,000 reels, are you kidding? A giant leap for all mankind But you lost the data and no one can find Hmm, come on man, are you kidding? Do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still gonna make this too, cause I know that you can't go. No, there's no blast crater from the lunar module. Probably because that thing is just a model. Or oh, the flag that flutters with no atmosphere. <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit queer? Intersecting shadows means another light source. Do I think it's fake? <laughs> yeah, of course. The whole thing was filmed on a Hollywood set. Directed by Kubrick is my best bet. The moon's so cool, we'd love to explore it. But we can't get past low Earth orbit. Do your research, people. I think you'll find that NASA admits that a bunch of times. Listen. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore so the moon mars asteroids there's a lot of destinations that we could go to and we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually i'd go to the moon in a nanosecond uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore we used to but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again.